Welcome to Keep the Faith. My name is Keith Stevens. And I'm Donna Cruz. The world may not be watching you perform great feats of strength, speed, or skill, but we all have our moments when all of life's preparation is put to the test. As you listen to Keep the Faith, you'll find encouragement for whatever you're facing. Encouragement to help you win the day. When my thoughts have run way too far, hear the calm for my anxious heart. Those moments when you're like, man, I really want to be on, and then, or I really want God to come through for me in this moment, and then it doesn't happen. And how do you deal with that? He had his arms extended towards us as she and I stood on the edge of the board, hand in hand. And when he called her name, she hesitated, but then jumped. And God gives us opportunities to jump from ledges in our life all the time. No one in America has run the half marathon faster than him. He's even a two-time Olympian. But you might not know his story because it wasn't written the way he wanted. He'll share next on Keep the Faith. Wandering into the night Wanting a place to hide This weary soul This bag of bones
faith has been called the home of contagious encouragement. What is that? Well, you'll find songs and stories filled with hope that can inspire you. And then you can go and inspire someone else. Are you past the point of weary? Is your burden weighing heavy? Is it all too much to carry? Let me tell you about my Jesus. Do you feel that empty feeling? Cause shame's done all it's stealing And you're desperate for some healing Let me tell you about my Jesus He makes a way where there ain't no way Rises up from an empty grave Ain't no sinner that he can save Let me tell you about my Jesus His love is strong and His grace is free listening to Keep the Faith. I'm Donna Cruz. Which matters more to you, the prize or the process? That's something Ryan Hall has had to think about a lot. He's a U.S. record holder in the half marathon and competed in two Olympic games. Prioritizing his relationship with God ahead of his sport was not common, and he was looking for a payoff. But in his book, Run the Mile You're In, he shares how learning to lose changed his understanding. I was just thinking, I was like, man, how great would it be to go and win the gold medal, you know, and be able to like share my story with the world or whatnot. And um, it's one of those things where you feel like you're kind of trying to bend God's arm to do something for you, you know. And unfortunately, I got injured training for the Olympic trials in 2012. And that was that was a hard moment for me. Like as a kid, I never cared that much about winning a gold medal. I cared more about 
wanting to be at my very best on that day. And uh, unfortunately, it just wasn't my best day, despite all my best efforts to make it that way. A lot of people can relate to that as well. That there's those moments when you're like, man, I really want to be on and then, or I really want God to come through for me in this moment. And then it doesn't happen. And how do you deal with that? As soon as I dropped out of the race in that moment, I felt like God was telling me it's better to lose with me than to win without me. God is the ultimate prize and knowing him, like there's nothing better than that. And we can all have that. It's been a long time running down a dead end road. Looking for that something that can fill my soul. Never found what I was searching for. To my final breath, let the weight of this world go. Gonna be no tears, gonna be no pain. When I see that smile on my Savior's face. Your life on Keep the Faith. You're the next. Hey, I'm Keith Stevens. Encouragement and inspiration go to a whole new level when we come together. Maybe you sense that watching the Olympics, or maybe you've experienced it in your own life. We'd love to hear your story. Just call 800 726 4150. I was just really grieving loss of a relationship, loss of a job, just feeling kind of down. And I turned the radio on. I, what I heard was the last half of All Is Well With My Soul. It is well. And then, for whatever reason, God had me put my hula hoops in the car, and I ended up with this tape that says, Give, Serve, Love. 
And I thought, okay. So I put some of those on my hula hoop and ended up going down to this place and teaching this woman how to hula hoop. And she just, you know, had a great time. And just a reminder of how just reaching out to each other to connect makes a difference. Got a front row seat to the madness I pick up my phone every morning out of habit I've been feeling for the drama, yeah, I said it I'm addicted to the rush, need a medic When I take a step back, I can see it All the pain, all the fear we've been feeling Losing sight of the thing that we need Take a good long look in the mirror Search my heart and soul, make it clearer Help me take your love, trade the bitter Leave it in the dust, help me leave it in the dust, Lord We've been preaching, we've been drinking in the vanity Now it's God is questioning our sanity And we wonder how we get all this anxiety This is Keep the Faith. A diving board reminded our friend Trish of the fears we face, but also the confidence that we can have. That's next on Keep the Faith. These days my heart's always on the run. These days the world's spinning out of control.
Just needs the hope that's inside of us What if it's more than a destiny? What if we're part of a masterpiece? I'm Colton Dixon. If you're looking for encouragement, you've come to the right place. Keep the faith. Ninety miles on the highway, every day moving so fast, taking all the wrong ways out. Never saw you coming, stopping me in my tracks, keeping me from the long way down. Doesn't matter. Just how many times I tried There could only be a single reason why So tell me say it's magic but i know that you did all that you're the reason there's no doubt doesn't matter just how many times i try there could only be a single reason why so tell me out of miracles just happen like that happen like that happen like that you can see the stars align but i know that it's more than time yeah. Time in Out of miracles just happen like that Happen like that Happen like that Right before I hit the ground So how you came along and found me You can see the stars align But I know that it's more than time in Right before I hit the ground So how you came along You're listening to Keep the Faith. Hello, I'm Keith Stevens. Maybe you don't fear diving off a board so much as diving into the unknown. 
Trish Blackwell is Keep the Faith's confidence coach and the founder of the College of Confidence. Now, she's written a book called Straighten Your Crown. She's seen how special it can be to take the leap. Standing on the edge of a diving board can feel like standing on the edge of a cliff especially when you've never taken that plunge before. My one-year-old experienced this for the first time the other day, and it was just exhilarating to watch as a parent. Her dad was treading water, churning his legs like an egg batter in the deep end of the pool. He had his arms extended towards us as she and I stood on the edge of the board, hand in hand. And when he called her name, she hesitated, but then jumped. Now, let me be clear, it was a dainty little jump, but it was a jump nonetheless. And God gives us opportunities to jump from ledges in our life all the time. Sometimes we can't see the water that's before us, and we certainly can't always see his arms extended, but the reality is the same. He's always there, and he knows that that jump is going to take us to a new world of freedom and adventure in the safety of his presence. I'm turning in your favor Watch him work it for your I'm done with what he started no. He's not done until it's good Hello peace, hello joy, hello love Hello strength, hello hope, it's a new horizon Hello peace, hello joy
much of handling sports is handling pressure. Well, what pressure do you have if you're 0 for 12 and you're at the plate versus someone that is fighting for their life versus someone that, you know, we picked up on the side of the street in Haiti because they're crippled or they're not wanted or they're thrown into the garbage. Like, how do you compare those things? And for me, there's not a comparison. I know that's not why I'm here. It's not my biggest purpose. It's not my biggest calling. It's not how I want to be known in my life. It's not as a football player, as a baseball player. I want to be someone that was known for bringing faith, hope, and love to those needing a brighter day in their darkest hour of need. I want to live like that and give it all I have so that everything I say and do points to you. This is Keep the Faith. Next on Keep the Faith, as a boxing legend, George Foreman has thrown a lot of punches, and many of them out of anger. But then something changed. I was literally a grandfather. I raised 10 children. My whole life was built around family. Second time around, there was never a punch in anger. You got to keep the faith where together we celebrate the greatest gifts life has to offer like faith love and hope i used to live like a rebel didn't want to behave thought a wretch like me could never be saved but everything changed i remember the day when i heard him calling my name like a thief in the night he stuck in took my life i was dead now i'm alive and singing I got stolen by the grave robber Pick me up from that rock bottom Wash my soul in that holy water Brought me back to life 
sin Taking my shame, breaking my soul Out of these chains I'm a dead man living And God did it Taking my sin, taking my shame Breaking my soul Out of these chains I've been forgiven And God did it I got stolen by the grave robber Pick me up from that rock bottom Wash my soul in that holy water Drop me back to life I got stolen by the grave robber Pick me up from that rock bottom Wash my soul in that holy water Drop me back to life One more soul rolled away One more sin I've been saved by grace This dead man, he ain't dead You're listening to Keep the Faith. I'm Donna Cruz. Finding lasting fulfillment in what you do really has a lot to do with what's driving you. George Foreman had a ton of boxing talent and a chip on his shoulder, too. It took him all the way to Olympic gold and his first heavyweight championship title. But when he returned to boxing a decade later and a little bit wiser, he found a new motivator. I met Sonny Liston, who was my role model. He would just look at people and look like he didn't have a friend in the world. I said, that's the way you gotta, you gotta be to become heavyweight champion. Well, I copied him a little bit. I got big real quick. Of course, the second time around, I was literally a grandfather. I was raised 10 children. My whole life was built around family. Second time around, there was never a punch in anger. Never a punch in anger. Mm. Cause I started the George Foreman Youth Center trying to get all of the anger out of children. And I showed them how to be a boxer without it. So as I started eating the same product I was selling. You can be a boxer, you don't have to be angry with the world, you can actually be a good athlete. And I took another look, glimpse at, at my life and found out I didn't need anger at all. When I'm walking through the valley, your presence is around me. Nothing stands between me and my God And the fear that was my prison Is no longer where I'm living Cause nothing stands between me and my God There's no place I go that He is not Where the Spirit of the Lord is There is freedom We'll be dancing through the darkness Cause we believe it Every stronghold has to break At the name of Jesus Where the Spirit of the Lord is There is freedom When the ground below is shaken My joy cannot be taken Nothing stands between me and my God So I'm looking to Jesus Through a veil that's torn to pieces Cause nothing stands between me and my God No Where the Spirit of the Lord is There is freedom We'll be dancing through the dark Watch the enemy flee Watch the walls come crumbling down When the people of God sing Hear the heavenly roar Of every heart set free Hear the chains of shame Hit the ground when the people of God sing Watch the lives break off Watch the enemy flee Watch the walls come
Songs and stories are a powerful combination. And when that combo is filled with encouragement, well, it could change your life. So, welcome to Keep the Faith. It's not just a story. It's a living, breathing, walking testimony. Love a guy so good he'd leave his home in glory. For the world he loved, for the world that he so loved. Hey, it's not just a story. Yeah. I believe in the life of Jesus. I in the good room, talents that we are too shy to share, joy that we postpone, time with our loved ones that we delay. But the truth is that none of us know how long we have. So don't keep your gifts locked up. Go ahead and open up the good room in your own heart. Seize the moment and share your time and talents. Let today be the special occasion you've been waiting for. We know we were made for so much more than This is Keep the Faith. I'm Brandi Lene on Keep the Faith with an encouraging thought from three-time gold medal winning gymnast Gabby Douglas. Are you going to stand or are you going to crumble? In the face of everything, still stand. You're the God of impossible And I 
within your design, if you are doing what you are supposed to be doing, then there's another guy out there that's not very happy about that. Use a sports metaphor. If you're playing basketball and somebody throws you the ball and you aren't double teamed, that means you're not very much of a threat. So in sports, you look at the more people who are on your butt when you have that ball, you look at that as a sign of you're doing something right. So the goal is opposition. The more in tune with God's design for you, the more adversity you should expect. Cause I hear a voice and he calls me every day. When others say I'll never be enough. And greater is the one living inside of me than he who is living in the world. Take your break, then get back out there with the ball and try to attract as much opposition as you possibly can.